Yep, that is a tarantula. Let's just grab this little guy up. You guys may be wondering, why are you picking it up with a tweezer? Well, this thing doesn't smell good, okay? I don't want my fingers smelling like something dead. Here, you guys want to smell it? There you go. By the way, if my voice sounds a little bit off, really sorry guys, I've been sick this past few days. It's it's horrible. You may be wondering, why did I do that? Why did I smash the glass? Well, because I put the spider in it and yeah, I didn't make a video of it. I just put it in and left it aside and now I wanted to do a video and I couldn't take the spider out. But no worries because those containers, I, I can buy a bunch of them. I get each for like 20 cents, so not a problem. Well, you guys probably can't really tell because this spider is like really dark colored now. That is because it died quite a few months back. Now this is actually my rarest tarantula. You remember that video? Well, I'm sure a lot of you haven't watched it because it was like an earlier video of mine. Pretty early in this year. I believe it was somewhere in March. Not quite sure, can't really remember, but whatever it is, that video is a long time ago. When I got this tarantula at the first time itself, it was already like very sluggish. I mean, look at the way it walks. It doesn't even walk like a proper tarantula. This is how a tarantula is supposed to walk. Like all stout up and just moving with confidence. But this guy, this guy was just walking and wobbling all over the place. So I guess that was a sign that he isn't doing too well in general. Female tarantulas live between 10 to 20 years, some species as long as 30, some as short as 7. Males, however, most live for 2 to 4 years. I heard the Brazilian blacks live up to 8. They usually only live a few months, maybe up to a year if lucky, after maturing. My friend had this tarantula for 2 plus years before passing it over to me. He molted and matured out as soon as I got him and lived for another six months before passing. Oh, my phone is not focusing at all. So annoying. I guess I'll just, yeah, make my hands stink for a little bit. Just for the video. There we go. Now it focuses even better when it's on my hand. He was eating fine, but unfortunately, he only ate dead prey items. So it, it was like, I had to get a super worm or a cricket and like chop them in half and this guy will scavenge on them. If I put it in its enclosure, life he will not go after them so yeah that is unfortunate i kind of had a feeling that he was gonna go already you know why i say that this one is my rarest tarantula well the person who gave her to me i mean him they gave him to me that was my friend he he usually only keeps females just like me and then when he realized that this was a male he just got rid of him, gave it to me for free. And he mentioned that when he got this, only five were brought into the country and all the other four passed away, all different owners. And his, which is this one, was the only one that was alive. And unfortunately, sad as it is, I guess that's just the reality of keeping animals, especially tarantulas when males don't live very long. <coughs> yeah, okay guys, so... As you can tell, my voice, I'm coughing, I'm, I'm just feeling really, really bad. So I guess I'll just end this video over here. I don't think it's a very long video. But anyways, you guys have a great one and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.